Producer Bill, what do you always say about golf carts? I always say, well, first of all, this is a very divided country. There's not a whole lot that we can agree on these days. But here's one thing we have in common. We all have a golf cart story. We have all wrecked a golf cart yeah. somewhere in our life. I did it in high school. I ran into the clubhouse. I think that everybody has uh, has wrecked a golf cart or maybe drove it into a pond or something. Okay, remember right. remember when yeah, you said that? He said that a few weeks you ago. Did, you've said that. We yeah. heard you say that and before. So, so let me tell you what happened. Um, I mean, it starts, it's kind of scary. So I got up this morning. When I go to bed at night, I... I, I don't know why. Oh, you know, so I start wearing this Fitbit, right? And 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 uh, the Fitbit connects with the iPhone. So if I get a text or an email, it vibrates. And it started waking me up when I was sleeping, which sucks. So I started to put my iPhone on airplane mode when I go to sleep. So it shuts all this stuff down. Then my Fitbit started giving me a rash. So I started to stop wearing my Fitbit until my rash goes away. So it's kind of weird. So I don't have my Fitbit on anymore. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so I put my, I went to bed last night. My wife's out of town. She's up at our, we, we have a cabin up north in the woods and it's our vacation place. So yesterday, throughout the day, we had this giant apple tree in our front yard. It's like a paradise. And she goes and she sends me pictures of the apples and she pulls the apples down. It's like she's living in this like, you know, before technology. <laughs> and, and she takes a picture of all the apples and then she takes a picture of the dough and she makes the dough and then she sends me a big picture of the apple pie and it's all done. Aww. And then she cut up the apple pie and then her and and, and, her fr- and Jake, my kid, and, and Dutch and his friends, they're all eating apple pie. What a great day, right? Yeah. Sounds, sounds glorious. Sounds, yeah, amazing. I mean, that's really? right. Just yeah. that right now. When, when did that happen? Last time that happened in the in the seventeen hundreds. Yeah, <laughs> you know? sure. So, so she goes. Uh, that's her day. And then I go to bed last night. I wake up this morning and I have a text message, and it starts off with a picture of an ambulance, and then it's her in the. It's a picture of her in her car from the dashboard out and following an ambulance. Then it's a picture of my son, Jake, one of his closest friends in the emergency room. Oh. Then it's a close up of a huge gash in his arm. No. Then it's a close up of, of his arm being bandaged up. And then, then it's a text from her at 3 a.m. I got, I, I got to my phone at like 3.05 and she says, hey, I'm just saying, I want to say good night to you. We're finally home. It's been a long night. And the first text was at 9.40. Oh. PM, right? So from wow. 943. So it turns out that they were coming home at 915. Jake driving a golf cart. Hey Zeus, his good friend in the passenger side. Jack, their other buddy in the back seat. 13-year-old Dutch in the other back seat. And they're coming down at night down a down the road. And Jake's going a little aggressive, driving fast. It's a golf cart. And they hit on the they're close to the side of the road and they hit like a rock. A, pretty big rock and it flips the golf cart oh, Boom. No. No seat belts so and, seat belts. and, uh. and jake and Ooh. dutch and jack were able to jump off the golf cart the golf cart rolled on jesus and landed on his arm oh, and broke guy. his wrist and no. gashed it open i mean the cut is Ooh. bad so as, as I go, and I, I mean, so now he's home. Everything's fine now, and he might have to have surgery. They almost helicoptered him home. Shut yeah, up! Like, oh, That's this, serious. I know, I know, because it's, it's a tiny oh town gosh. up north. So then I get on my Instagram, as, and now after, I, and I, I get all these text messages, and there's all these people that have messaged me that they saw Blake in the hospital. Like if I would have saw <laughs> Blake's messages, if I would have saw my Instagram first, uh-huh. hey, we're in the emergency room. There's a woman here who looks like your wife and your son. Is everything okay? I'm freaked out. And I'm like, if I, you know, for, and what. What's funny is when I, I immediately start texting Blake back and calling her, but the phone signal there sucks. I couldn't get through to her. And so then I'm messaging these listeners back. Hey, is she still there? Can you put her on the phone? Can you ask her to call me? <laughs> Wait, so has Sue's hurt his arm? Yeah. And how, how's Jake? Jake's fine. Every, everybody else jumped off the golf cart. Jesus, oh, okay. it rolled on Jesus. Oh, and so, yeah, so that it's kid. like, I know. I mean, when I, if I show you, I'll show you pictures real quick so you can see how awful it is. Oh, that poor guy. That's Jesus now. Look how bad. Oh, but he is wow. bandaged up. Look at that. <laughs> oh, oh, there's my. the cut. That is Whoa. massive. Right? That's bad. There's the ambulance. Blake following the ambulance. Oh, man. <sighs> there he is in the hospital under meds. Right? Like, isn't it crazy? So Blake said, so so she had to call 911. And and she put Jesus, like, Dutch came busting in the laundry room. Ah! 
I'm like Dutch is all frazzled. Hey, Jesus, play uh! And then she put him in the car, called nine one, and took him to the fire station. And the firemen were already outside waiting for him. And they put they had to put him on meds. The fire the ambulance was waiting for him. They put him in there, and they t- took him to the thing and and all this stuff. And then my wife says that um, that everybody's fine, but she was like, C- "Can you not talk about it on the radio yet?" <laughs> And I said, so I called her, 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 called her all the way in here. I was like, listen, you can't, Bill says everybody's got a golf cart story. <laughs> <laughs> you put yeah. it on Bill. Yeah. Oh. That's your lead in? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if Bill says that, sure, no problem. And just like me, those boys have, they had their golf cart story in high school. Yeah, so, <laughs> right? Yeah, so get it, get it out of the way when you're in high school. Right, when your friend had his golf cart story, was it, 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 did it end up in the emergency room? It was in the emergency room, but we did hit the side of the clubhouse at the, at the, mm. golf, at the golf course. Yeah, so just think, if you guys right now don't have a golf cart story, I think you kind of do, because I just told mine, which I really don't have one. So, well, actually, I kind of do have one, but not... not yeah, as... I don't have one personally, but I know someone very close to me but who now, has a very serious one. But now you can tell Jesus is... Yeah, now I got yeah. two. Now I got two <laughs> other people's story. I have a lot of other people's golf cart stories. <laughs> I'm fine with that. I don't want to have a golf yeah. cart story.